Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. This is going to be somewhat of a short video, but this is the third episode into my NBA 2K14 tutorials. And today we're going to be going over the triple threat. Now, you guys may not think that this is useful, but trust me, you're going to need it. Especially if you're playing up against guys online that's trying to cheese you. So let's hop into it, y'all. Alright, you guys, this is going to be a fairly easy video. Just teach you how to jab, step, step over, and protect the ball. Now... All you have to do is tap the right stick toward your non-pivot foot. If you don't know what your non-pivot foot is, just think of it like this. If you're right-handed, it's going to be your right foot. If you're left-handed, it's going to be your left foot. All right? So, all you do is tap it, and it automatically does the jab step. Want to say it again? Maybe you didn't catch it? Look up in the top left corner at my HUD. All you got to do is just look at where my analog goes. Non-pivot foot. All right? It's that simple. Now, let's look at the step over. The step over is a little bit different. You have to tap the right stick towards your pivot foot. Remind you guys, if you're right-handed, your pivot might be your right. So we're just gonna step over and do it like that. It's a, it's, a, it's a great move to use because you can jab step a guy and then, you know, step over, stuff like that. And you probably can get somebody off their feet just off those moves alone. Now I'll do it one more time. You give a guy a jab step, give him a, a hard jab step, then a step over, he might fly out his shoes because with that step over, you can actually drive to the basket. So let me show you guys. Step over, and then uh, sorry, they, they, it's crazy that they automatically uh, make me uh, get a like go out the menu. So let me just do a step over and then drive. You step over and then drive right by the defender. He'll probably be pissed off every single time. Step over, automatic. That's how you do it. Now jab steps are a little different. Let me show you guys that real quick. Let's go back to move list. Now, the jab step to a, to a launch is crazy. You can jab step and then launch right past them. Real easy. Jab step, launch. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But uh, let me go back to the move list and give you guys the last thing on this list. Now, to, to protect the ball, all you have to do is press triangle. Now, you don't have to be dribbling. You can be standing still, but let me show you guys what it looks like when you're dribbling. Now, when you're dribbling and you want to get in the paint on a guy, I would say never post up around here. You never want to post up in this area. Never. Never post up around the foul line, none of that. You always want to post up on an angle. All right? Because what can happen is you can automatically go into great shots. Now, let me show you guys a little bit of the protect with a shot. Now, to protect the ball is very easy. All you got to do is come to an angle, press Y, and you can do anything you want. All right? Now, uh... Let me go out and show you guys what it looks like with a shot. I love I love this training camp because I can give you guys a full tutorial and just be and just work right in this mode. Now, this right here is a protect. You can come out of the protect as well, but you also have different options. You know, you can spin, you can shoot, you can fade, you can do whatever you want out of the protect. Now, like I said, when you protect right here. This is the worst place to do it. You want to know why? Because defenders are lurking right here. This is called the no-fly zone in NBA 2K14. If you are anywhere near here dribbling the ball, just know that anybody that's on defense is swiping at the ball, and you can just get a lot of turnovers. And that's what you don't want. You don't want to get turnovers. So, like I said, no-fly zone right here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not come here dribbling the ball because it's going to be a defender standing just about... I would say right here, and then it'll be another defender standing about right here. Hold on, let me back up. Standing about right there. Now, the reason for this is because if you call isolation and you're at the top of the key and your defender is at the foul line, and the closer you get, whether it be slow or fast, the defenders actually move inward, and they come to you because they expect you to drive to the lane. So, you know, hopefully it helped you out. But, uh... This is IKC signing out. My next video will be on dribble moves. Peace, y'all. Yeah. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.